Michaels, not Rochelle Herman again, no, but uh, she has graciously allowed me to come back and co-host the show tonight, or guest host the show tonight, but I have a, a wonderful co-host. She was with me uh, two weeks ago, my colleague over at 1220 WIBQ, Robin Lynn joins me again. How are you, Robin? Doing well. Good evening, everyone. And I'm glad to be here again, Good to Doug. see you again. I know you had a little trouble getting in the studio. I did. <laughs> What happened? I had a little trouble getting in tonight. They wouldn't let you in? They wouldn't let me in. What happened? They wouldn't let me back to Blab TV, the Comcast I people. I know. Yeah. No respect. I'm like, I'm going to be on in about 20 minutes. <laughs> let me in. They have a little buzzer out there. I know. And you can't get in unless they let you in. But, uh, I know. But you have to tell me, I'm Robin Lynn. Come on. I know. Well, I'm new. So That's right. They didn't recommend from two weeks ago. Come on. I know they need yeah. it. Or we're glad Remember you made me. it in. <laughs> I'm glad I made it. We are. By yeah. the skin of my teeth, I made it. That's right. We had a lot of fun a couple of weeks ago when we did the show, and Rochelle uh, was on vacation, and uh, she's taken a, a little vacation. Not a vacation, I guess it's just a day off. So she allowed us back today. Yeah, she has the evening off. I'm glad she uh, let us back. She we did. must have done okay. I know. I just ran into her, actually, and she was going to Disney World. And That's right. Disney World with her kids. She's having a good time uh, with her kids. Last week, taking some family time, which is always a good thing. Right. Speaking of it's all about health, healthy to take care of your kids and have fun okay. with your family. And have That's fun. Good. That's right. right? Well, we got a good show for you today. <laughs> we got a, a good guest coming up in just a couple of minutes. She's been with us quite a few times on the radio, and uh, I'm sure you've seen her around town. She's a versatile lady, a very talented musician. Uh, she's known as the Washboard Woman. We'll have to find out what that's all about. I think I know, but we'll let her tell us. And she's written a really interesting book uh, dealing with uh, the topic of this show. It's all about health. Uh, an allergy coloring book, uh, kind of inspired by her a grandson. And uh, I've had the same situation uh, dealing with allergies most of my life. So it'll be interesting to find out about that. And uh, why don't we go to her right now? Betty Kimura uh, joining us on the phone. And uh, Betty, how are you? I am just fine. And both of you look good on TV. You really clean up okay. well. Thank you. <laughs> well, hi, Betty. <laughs> hi. And, of course, you always look lovely, whether you're on radio, whether you're on TV. You look terrific, Robin. Well, thank you. know, you. I don't you generally get to see Doug, uh, you know, with a suit and a tie. My gosh. I know. Well, anyway, we don't have to dress up. <laughs> <laughs> Betty's seen us at the radio station when we can dress more casual. Real casual. Uh -huh. We don't have to be on television, That's which is right. a bit different. But it's good to have you with us this evening. Well, thank you. So what are your projects? What have you been doing lately? We'll get to the coloring book in a minute. Oh, okay. You just want to talk about me? Yes, we just want to hear all <laughs> about, about you. you. Be nice. Well, I'm happy to say I do have something exciting to uh, tell you because I, have you ever been to the Manatee Theater in Bradenton? Yes, um, I well, okay, yeah. Manatee Riverfront Theater. It's a community theater, similar to the Players Theater in Sarasota, one of them. And uh, I have a role in an upcoming show. That's what. It's called Review, Review. What's it about and what am I going to do? I still don't know. <laughs> All I know is that I'm so flattered that the director asked me to audition and the musical director, well, the musical director is Rick Bogner and the director is Jared Walker, and they're going to do a show, a review of snips and pieces of all the shows that were done at the Manatee Players. And so uh, they have a nice mm -hmm. cast, all different ages, and uh, now they're formulating their mm -hmm. plans now that they know who they're going to have in it. So I'll, you know, let you know more. That's going to be in September, so that'll be a lot now of fun. Now, you were in a performance there, was it last spring, Betty, uh, where you did uh, Broadway Baby, didn't you? Yes, I sang Broadway Baby in Sondheim's uh, Police. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, I love that role, because yeah, mm -hmm. the song is real exciting, so that was a lot of fun. It's a great uh, kind of show-stopping number, isn't it? It is. It really is. I mean, I, I really uh, lucked out because people love that song, I think, regardless of who's singing it. But it just happened that I was the one who got to sing it, so, um, you know. It was charmed. Because we played that a, a few times, Bernadette Peters version on the radio show. We, oh. We've met her, too, as well. It's been on the show. Too. But, you know, that's a real belter song. Oh, it's great. Yeah, and a lot of people think of Elaine Stritch because she was the one who had played it on uh, Broadway. I'm probably more of an Elaine Stritch type than Bernadette Peters, although I would, if I had my druthers, rather be a Bernadette Peters now. <laughs> but uh, she's terrific, too. Well, that's great. We'll uh, talk to you down the road when we get closer to that uh, show, Betty. But uh, for those folks not quite aware, but uh, Betty does uh, a lot of things. Uh, one of them is, is jazz, which you uh, did at the uh, the jazz club very often. You do some performances on their Friday yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? I love it. I, I play the piano and sing. And um, and then I heard you mention my secret weapon, which sort of evolved 
as a joke, and then it, uh, everybody liked it so much that now I'm, I'm pretty much known for that, which is Washboard Woman. Yes, Washboard but, Woman. How did you get to play the washboard? Well, I was singing with a Dixieland band in, in Manhattan. It was called the Speakeasy Jazz Babies, and we were working at a club and called the Red Blazer 2, if there's anybody from your audience from New York. Yeah. We were there for four years, and every once in a while, a drummer from Chicago would stop and see us, rush up on the stage, play his washboard, and the crowd went wild. And uh, it, it just it seemed like a fun thing to do. So uh, somebody gave me one, and I got symbols for it, and I sat in with a couple of musicians somewhere just for the fun of it, and the banjo player said, well, I shall have to put you down on my washboard list. And sure enough, he had a little black book with uh, numbers of washboard players. <laughs> I became one, and then uh, I got called, and uh, the rest is history. Now, uh, as a matter of fact, you know, some people are surprised when they see me play the piano and sing songs like Cry Me a River or, uh, you know, uh, Sentimental Torch songs, you know, they... they didn't know that other side. Quite a contraption, though, Betty. I've seen it. You have all sorts, like you said, all sorts of little attachments to it. Yeah, I was a Spike Jones fan. That's right. Spike <laughs> <laughs> now, you're from New Jersey. Yes. You're from Palisades Park, New Jersey. You know, I was oh. born in Englewood Hospital in New Jersey. Oh, you were my son. My youngest son was born in Englewood Hospital. And so, were you there passing through briefly <laughs> in and out of the hospital and down to Florida? Or what, did you stay there for a while? My family decided to relocate to Sarasota, which I'm glad because the weather here is absolutely beautiful. And how could you beat Sarasota when I was two? So I'm lucky enough to grow up here right here in Florida. You were lucky. I yes. wish uh, we were able to raise our children here, too. It's a, it's a wonderful place, and I'm only here for the last six years. So you can, what do you like best about Sarasota? Oh, the beaches. That's for sure. And the restaurants. And all of the arts and the entertainment, like right. you do. Uh, there's so many shows that you can go see and so many performers. I mean, it's a really artsy town. So I enjoy that, especially with my dancing background and that. Tell me about your dancing background, because I didn't know that. No, I've done shows before. It's just been a while. I'm starting to teach now and uh, keeping up with the broadcasting. Um, oh. But I did uh, the 1940s radio hour at the Golden Apple Dinner Theater one time. And really? I was a uh, Ziegfeld girl in Funny Girl years ago. Really? So, and uh, I do a lot of different choreography every once in a while for some of the local dance studios. So we'll have to get you in and get you dancing. Oh, my gosh, I would love to. Well, actually, it's so funny because I think I would love to do it, but I have to project to next year because, and, and this is another subject I want to tell you that I thought I would never dance again because my hip was so bad. I don't know if I mentioned that to you, Doug. I was supposed to have you a hip replacement, <laughs> and I go to an acupuncturist. I know you, I'm talking too much, right? Yeah, Betty's hanging over the show, but that's okay. Right, we, have to, we have to take a break, Betty. If you can just hang on, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. This is the show about health. Don't go away. Give her an inch. Uh, 